we're just gonna start. Well, we were trying to figure it out. We we're trying to figure out how to get you on. We were trying to figure it out because of what we're talking about today. That's why he was saying, "Hold on," because what we're talking about today is all of our accounts got locked um, on Twitter uh, this morning, and some of them for different reasons, but. Um, it was really crazy and we have like six accounts and they were all locked this morning and we were like what the hell and so uh one of mine is i'm suspended for a day because i told governor sis like to go kill himself basically um and i told him that i hope the virus kills him and they said i can't say that to people even if it's a 60 year old politician <laughs> Well, let's talk about what's really happening here. What's happening is Twitter... Okay, I never believed it before because I'm not really political. I um, I tend to just want to stay out of politics. The main part, the reason why I went at Governor Sisolak is because he just took down Vegas. Uh, he had taken it down for 30 days, and now he just added more time. So Vegas is not going to open now until May 1st, which is destroying Vegas um, every day. And so many people are losing their jobs, and uh, it's going to be so hard to recover. And so I got angry about that, and I expressed myself, and I thought, since he's an adult, Adult and he's a politician, I think I should be able to say that at that moment, I wanted him to die. And they say, oh, you can't say that. It's not like I'm going to go kill him. But I think when someone destroys a city for no reason other than for uh, their own political gain at this point, because if you're saying it's just because of the virus, you're out of your mind. If you think all of this is just because of the virus. And you, and, and, the, and to bring up a good point, because um, everyone... Everyone is shut down in Vegas. No one can do anything. Right. Except for who? Except for the Raiders Stadium. And why so is that? that is why but, but this why, but no, but this is them up. Tell them what um, no, I'm gonna I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna get into all of that. Thank I you. Make sure. Okay, the reason why I know from the start that this was not about the safety of people was because Governor Sisolak allowed construction to continue in Las Vegas during this shutdown. He said that is essential business. And the number one thing he wanted was the Raiders Stadium. And that is because Governor Sisolak was appointed because of this Raiders Stadium. The, his entire um, candidacy to see or whatever you call I have a question. Like, uh, I, I would imagine that he had corporate sponsors that funded his campaign. Yeah, all of his campaign stuff was for this Raiders Stadium. He is like the spokesperson for the Raiders Stadium. And the Raiders Stadium has had a lot of issues and they didn't want one more thing like not being able to work through this entire thing because then they might not actually open in 2020, which I don't even know if they're going to at this point with everything going on. This is insane. But Governor Sisolak wanted his stadium crew to continue and now they've even had some people test positive for the COVID virus and they continue to work. But Governor Sisolak put more regulations on everything else in Vegas to be shut down until May 1st, even though it was going to be originally allowed to be open on April 17th or 18th, one of those days. Now they have to wait till May 1st. But Raider Stadium, continue your construction and all other construction. So if you're really worried about the health of anyone, you would have definitely shut down the stadium when a worker tested positive for the COVID virus. There's actually workers that are scared to work there because they know that their other workers have tested positive and they're having to go to work and they might get the virus. So if you're telling me this is all about a virus, you are out of your mind because if it was, then they would not be working and no construction would be going. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause you here. It's about a virus, okay? So that a virus that's going to kill about three to four times in May is normal of our elderly. Yeah, the elderly. Well, that's why they're worried. Now, let me throw this Because the politicians here. are old. Well, not just that, but, but in Nevada, what would you say the percentage of elderly are? Yeah, and money? we have all these old retired people here in Nevada that go to the casinos. So they're worried that all the old fucks might die five years earlier than they were going to die anyways. 
This is fucking ridiculous. And we're stopping the whole world for the senior citizens. That the only people that are dying are the people that already have health problems. I'm not even talking about the healthy senior citizens. My mother in law, she's 75. She's healthy as an ox. If she got this, I know she'd be fine. It's the old ones that already have health problems that are on their deathbed. Every time I see a photo of someone that died, they're like already look like they were dying. Uh, five minutes ago before they got the virus. You know, it was like, my gosh, they look like they're uh, lucky to be having a breath of fresh air ever in their life. I mean, it's like the people they're showing, it's like, does that person even go outside? I mean, they're like, all oh, these people are like, oh, they died from the COVID virus and he's like this. I'm like, are you fucking nuts? Show me a young person that has died from this and then maybe I'll take it serious. Yeah, good point. And you know what? Have you heard? Okay, so now, now, um, so what was the topic today that we were going to talk about? We were going to talk about that um, Twitter is obviously... Okay, here's the thing. I was saying I am not political. I don't vote. I've never voted in my entire life. I was in the military, in the Air Force, and I still never voted. I've never agreed with our uh, the way that we elect people. I think it's BS. So are you discovering that Twitter might be biased? So what I had heard about Twitter was that uh, they were a little biased. That See, I tend to, in the past, probably agree a lot more with the Democrats. I just um, You know, when I was young, I was very, my parents were Republican, but like I said, I've never been political. And then I went in the military, which would be very Republican. But then as I got older, I felt that I uh, probably you know, liked a lot of more the ideals of the um, Democrats in the sense of like, you know, uh, I think people should be able to have abortions, things like that. But lately, uh, the Democrats are, are are a whole nother breed of, I don't even know what's going on here. And so, um, and we've heard that Twitter was biased, that they shut down Republicans accounts more than Democrats. And I thought that was just the Republicans kind of bitching about it. But now as I see that when I went to go attack a Democratic um politician my account was taken down immediately like this is the third time now that i've been taken down for the same issue they keep like they'll give me it back and then they take me down again for um again with governor sislek they show me the tweet that well, they, it, they don't just take you down what they do is they censor you they censor they me and they you. tell me i have to remove the tweet right uh they don't give me any option but to remove the tweet and then they uh, censor me for 12 hours um and this is the third time they've done it for uh for it's three different tweets that I just was yelling at Governor Sisolak about. And um, it's weird because I've get, gone at a lot of people, like online, like in the sense of like when we're angry, we've, you know, yelled at people. And I've never been taken down that fast as they did for when I went at a Democratic politician. So now I'm starting to believe that maybe some of those people are right. Maybe some of those. Because, you know, there's such extremes. You have extremes on each side of you have extreme Republicans and extreme Democrats. But now I am seeing that Twitter is more biased. I'm starting to believe that because when we've said things at Trump, they didn't take us down. Oh, we remember we. <laughs> you know, we've gone game. on and on about Trump. They never did anything. But then I went at Governor Sislek, and my account got taken down, and it's down today, and for like 12 hours, for Governor Sislek being a crybaby again. And obviously, it's from him because to get taken down that quick is not just from the little bit of people. It comes from the people that are verified with verified accounts is how you get your stuff taken down. And we had all of our accounts locked this morning. We have six accounts. They were all locked this morning when we go woke up. They made us um, put phone numbers in for the other ones, which was weird. I know they do that once in a while, but it was weird that all of our accounts and then one of mine said a DMCA takedown, which was an account they already took down for DMCA, which DMCA is um, for if you use music, uh, if you like put music on your videos that like it doesn't belong to you, then the artist will take down your accounts for using their music. It's so silly. It's the stupidest it really thing. Is. So like, so don't make a fun video with any music because the artist can't handle someone using their song when it's a song probably someone hasn't heard in 20 years and you're trying to give it life back but they'll take down your account for that but that's a whole nother thing but that account was already taken down but I got a notice this morning telling me they're taking it down again even though it's already down and then I got a notice on my Judge Joy blog that I'm down for 12 hours and then my other account said uh, that I suspicious activity to put my phone number in and then all three of Jedi Riches were down but he just had to put his phone number in 
But we're like, okay, now we're just seriously being attacked. Because he hadn't even tweeted anything. Like, they just... And I haven't even... This I, These were from tweets, like, two weeks ago now. It was at the beginning of this thing. And um, so... <laughs> They're just either really slow to fucking get things taken down, or um, people are still crying again. Yeah, very good. One point. of the two. Yeah, let me have some weed. We okay, have some, well, that kind at least of we have legal weed here in Vegas. One, Sorry? one thinks the governor suspects wants that because that's a money maker. He's just a greedy little fuck. Okay, so that's the morning blog, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe. Follow us on whatever channel you want. And we will be back with more fun stuff today. Probably yeah, so you can find us on gyrus.com. Um, yeah, tell on YouTube. That. Tell them where to start finding YouTube, us. YouTube, find we, us. Yeah, we keep getting taken down. So you got to find us sometimes just at gyrus.com. If you don't know where we are, go to our website. Because all our accounts get taken down all the time. We have to create new accounts all the time. It's really ridiculous. <laughs> but... um Right now we have YouTube is Jedi Rich Creative Producer and the Naked Jedi. I don't really have one over there. I had four YouTube accounts taken down, so I kind of stopped doing YouTube for a minute. And then um, on Twitter, I have Jedi Joy's blog, which right now I'm muted for 12 hours. And then, uh, which is probably less than that because I think the 12 hours started a couple hours ago. Um, so tomorrow I'll be good. And then um, Jedi Rich Calm on Twitter and the Naked Jedi. But just keep coming to our website if you can't find us because they take us down all the time. I also have a another Jedi Derbit show on uh, Twitter, but it's at JJRS show because my first Jedi Derbit show got taken down. How'd that happen? That one was for music. And that's the one they sent me another notice today saying it was taken down, but it's already taken down. So yeah. they're, they're like, oh, your account's taken that's, down again. That's another topic for next blog, but... But quite honestly, I mean, what better advertisement? I know, I can't understand why the artists don't want you to promote their music. Uh, Because what we say is like, hey, we're doing this song. We're not saying it's ours. We're saying like, hey, we're singing this song. It's at Justin Bieber or at Miley Cyrus or whoever it is. And you would think like you're promoting their music. I, I can't imagine. But they think there's this whole thing of like, you can't make money off my... Well, we're not making money. <laughs> For one thing, um, on YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers before you could even make money. So if you ever see anyone with less than a thousand subscribers, get out of your head that they're making any money. Um, the people get this idea that like you can go to YouTube and immediately start making money. It's not really that way. It's actually a lot of work to get enough subscribers to make money and then it's still work after that um people get this idea that you're people are making all this money on uh social media and on twitter i don't know how you make money unless someone is paying you like i don't think you're ever paid by twitter <laughs> you'd have to get paid by sponsors or something like that which is not us so this idea that like we're using the music for anything other than fun and entertainment is ridiculous because we can't even make money off of it. And also, if you do use their music on, like, let's say YouTube, once you use music, you can't make money on that video anyways. So I don't understand why they need to take your, down your account. Like, because you can't make money on their music. Like, it doesn't allow it. So why do I need the account to be taken down? Did well, they say? I, let me jump in there. Let me answer the question. Did you see where like that doesn't make yeah, sense? Let me bring up. Let me let me jump in. This is this is kind of my issue here because you know being in sales and marketing and also in music, there's something called word of mouth advertisement, and that's how you get what's called viral sales. That's how you call. That's the magic that happens. Now what DMC? What she's describing is DMCA. What you've done is you've eliminated your word of mouth advertising. Mm -hmm. Instead of having people come on and say, like, you know, I mean, they took down an, they took down an account that had 300 followers for a tweet about Pitbull promoting how awesome Pitbull is. I mean, look, Pitbull can go on all day long and make album after album talking about how much better he is than Ice Cube and everybody's like, yeah, big fucking deal. 
But when you get fucking like masses of people saying, yeah, Pitbull is way better than that fucking Ice Cube guy. And his music is way, he's done way more work than Ice Cube. I mean, what does Ice Cube do all day anyways? Seriously, the guy has been on Friday since fucking 1992. We're mad at Ice Cube. He still makes, I ain't mad at no one. No, we are because of that ticket thing. Oh, right. That's a, we got He's, screwed okay, over with our ice That brings up another issue. Here in Vegas. Okay, in Vegas, you see, what they do is they fund their casinos and their business on speculative money. We know how that works when we get, let's say, our pay, you know, we have money on the weekend and we want to like make things balance and so we take money here we know money's coming here and do that we know the bank's not going to clear it we take the ATMs out and they make sure we get the money in by Monday same thing happens in on Wall Street and in Vegas but they do it with concerts so they get the money for this concert the money they're paying for today's show was the money they took for the Ice Cube show in April right so this is what happened to us you guys we wanted we're, we're doing this Ice Cube um, Vegas uh, Raiders we need song. our money back no listen we, we're doing this Ice Cube Vegas Raiders song and uh, we've been tweeting Ice Cube and we you know wanted to go to his show in April because they were supposed to have the NFL draft here in April and he had a show at New Orleans and we thought fantastic how fun and it was three hundred dollars for the show and um when we bought it everything was going great here in vegas so it was like cool well now they postponed the show well most of the shows are canceling um due to this covid virus well since he decided to postpone to another date that we don't want to go we can't get our money back which is totally not fair because i wanted to go to the show april 25th i don't want to go to the show in september so, but they won't give me my money back. But I paid to go to a show in April. I did not pay to go to a show in September. Do you see how that doesn't? Yeah. That's not fair. You can't yeah. just say not, I'm going to totally postpone your event and you have to let still me share go. Something with you. you need to give me the option to have my money back. She's absolutely that's right. That's bullshit. Okay, it's bullshit. But this isn't about policy at this point, guys. What I'm describing is going to be the domino effect that's happening in Vegas that you're going to see happen. Just collapse and crumbles because see what she's saying is that it's bullshit we called Orleans and they said no they have to give you the money back mm -hmm. we called the ticket company they said too bad you don't get it back they said, but, and you, they said all you can do is sell your tickets now if you want right. for, the, uh, for the September show scalp them so you see what, I, what they're saying is they don't have any money to refund they sold tickets without the basis of cash reserves to refund anybody in the case of a catastrophic event such as this. They were paying their artists from the money from future shows. Mm -hmm. So when I, when they sold us though that money, that $300 ticket, that money went to pay the artists from last month. Right when now I, we when need Ice Cube, that when money Ice Cube here. When Ice Cube comes up, when Ice Cube comes up in in April in August, they're going to use the money September. in September, whatever money they have there, they're going to be selling tickets for December, and that's what they're going to pay Ice Cube with is that money. But here's what the problem is: is if the concerts in December get canceled, right? Then people don't buy those tickets. No, but this is where it's then they don't that. have the money to refund anybody. It's just a domino effect no, all the is, way back. Okay, but this is where it's. Don't worry, I'm going to let you talk. I'm out of here. I know. This just is where it's. A second. Well, I know, but it, sometimes you you don't come up for it. Nope. Either you tell me. I know, me. but I'm leaving now. You have the whole thing. I didn't know you were going to leave. I wasn't saying for you to leave. Well, I was uncomfortable. Staying. Just give okay. me, I came in for five. Okay. You've been talking. I came in for two minutes to say something. Now you go. Okay. What I was going to say is that the issue is most of the artists just canceled too. So Ice Cube's kind of being a dick by not canceling because he's being like, oh, I don't want to give people their money back. We'll just keep postponing the show. And that's bullshit. Because for one thing, okay, we are Vegas locals, so we could probably attend. But let's say we were not Vegas locals and we bought the tickets because we were going to be in Vegas in April, but we're not going to be in Vegas in September. So that is fucking bullshit. Like, they can't do that. And if he had just canceled the show, they could give us our money back. But Ice Cube, one of the only artists that decided to postpone, almost all the artists are canceling because they realize people should get their money back, but not Ice Cube. He decided to just keep postponing. First, they didn't even have a postponed date. They just said, you can't have your money back and we'll let you know when we're going to postpone to. Then they came back with, okay, we're going to postpone to some date in September. And then they said, that's still up in the air. We'll keep you posted if we have to postpone again. 
again. So they're just holding on our money, which we could use that $300 right now since Vegas is shut down, along with everyone else that probably bought an Ice Cube ticket for the April 25th show that is now postponed to whenever they feel like it, which could be pretty much never. I don't know how long legally they're allowed to keep postponing, but I'm sure they have ways where they can keep postponing for quite a while, and especially when there's some kind of COVID thing. But if Ice Cube would just cancel his fucking show and then do a new one like everyone else is doing but no they're just gonna hold on to people's money so that's why we're mad at ice okay. cube Like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down. down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.